Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Wednesday, May 8, 2024. May God be with you today and may his face shine upon you and give you peace. Our reading today comes to us from Psalm 91, reading from verse 1 to 8. And it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the folder and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his word of wisdom and encouragement. And so this is an assuring word to us this morning, reminding us that those who dwell in God's secret place, they will be under his protection. So he that walk besides Jesus, those who stand with Jesus, those who remain faithful to him, they are under the royal protection of God. The Lord is our refuge and our fortress and who better for us to put our trust in other than God? Hasn't he proven himself over and over again? So there's no one better to trust than God. He provides for us. He has protected us. He has done so many wonderful things for us. And so there's no reason for us not to put our trust in Him. Without Him, we perish. Without Him, we are nothing. And so I can understand why the servant David wants to be in the presence of God at all times. Because he knows that once he's in the presence of God, he will be safe. God is able to deliver us from the sneer of the fowler. He's able to deliver us from the things around us that would seek to destroy us, that want to cause us harm. God is able to protect us from those things. When you go out on the road each day, you don't know if you are coming back home. You don't know about the next moment. Every moment that you're alive, the devil is at you, trying to get rid of you. But God, in his wisdom and in his power and his grace and mercy, say, no, no, no. You can't have him. You can't have her. She belongs to me. He belongs to me. They are under my protection. And isn't it wonderful to know that you're under God's protection? I think it's a beautiful thing. And here in verse 4, he gives this beautiful, have you ever seen a, a, a hen? Oh, she covers her chicken under her wings to protect them. When the ark is flying high over their heads, they rush under her wings and they are protected by mommy's wings. So God here saying that he will cover us under his wings. We can trust his wings. His wing is a protection from the elements that are there. You know, I heard this story once where there was this chicken, there was this hen in a cane field and the cane field caught fire and she was so adamant about protecting her little ones that she gathered them under her wings and she sit there while the fire burned and the fire burned and killed the mother hen and when they went and found the hen all the chickens 
were saved. They were okay, not even a burn. And the mother was burned to a crisp. Burned to a crisp. And the mother was burned to death. No, God can't burn to death and God can't die. But the illustration is just showing the, the point that just like how that mother was willing to die and to go the extra mile to protect her little ones, so God will go the extra mile to protect us. Isn't that what he did when he went to Calvary? He went the extra mile. He died in your stead, in my stead. And so another reason that we can trust him. We don't have to be afraid of the pestilence that walk in darkness. The Bible said that we wrestle against spiritual wickedness in high places. We don't need to be afraid of them. We don't need to be afraid of that. Because God is the one who is in control. We are under his protection. We can trust and be confident in his power and his ability to keep us safe. So let them go. Let them try all they may try. Unless God allows it, they can't do anything to you. And I say, Amen. It says, A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh to thee. And I say, Amen. So in other words, because you are under the protection of God, those who are not under his protection are in grave danger more danger than you their destruction will come before it come anywhere near you because they are not under the protection of god and so their destruction will be swift because they have no guard of safety there's no one protecting them the devil is not protecting them he's just using them and so it will be much quick for them to be sacrificed than for you to be sacrificed and so, you know, we always talk about, you know, how the wicked seems to, you know, be prospering and how the wicked seems to be getting away with everything. But here in verse 8, we are being reminded that, look here, one of these days, you will see the wicked finally receiving their reward. So they might seem like they're getting away with it now. Don't you worry about that. The time will come when they will receive their reward. And so, as you consider the reading this morning, that you will run to God. Seek his protection. The saying goes that you, are, you seek a friend before you need a friend. And so, here God is inviting us to be a part of you know, his fold. To be secure under his protection. Because when you are under the royal protection, no one or nothing can bring you any harm. May God bless you and keep you. Amen.